carriage again today. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue with the airbox because I've now decided that I need to make the airbox and then make everything fit around the airbox. So that's kind of the first thing that I need to get uh, sort of 90% there and stable as well. So I've already made um, like a card one, um, which was kind of nearly, nearly, nearly there, but uh, you know, a bit wobbly, a bit wibbly wobbly. Um, but I've got patterns from that, um, which I am now putting into metal. Um, so yeah, just cut it out in metal and, and folding it and just just shaping it with yeah a pair of uh, pair of mole grips actually. This airbox will be a uh, a buck for a mold. It's as simple as that. It it won't be used. Um, so it, it's just um, you know all these all these little all these little marks. There you go. All these little marks in the metal. That's not not going to show. It's not a problem because we're going to bodywork this once it's done. All I'm doing is using really, really simple methods to get uh, kind of what I want. Kind of like that. And then we'll just stick it together with some weld, bodywork it up, and I can continue to use that then um, until I'm ready to, yeah, take a mold off of it. So yeah, I'll, I'll just whack it on time, right? uh, time lapse and, and we'll, we'll do that piece. There we go, look. We've got our piece of plate cut out, no problems there. So all I'm gonna do is go around the edge. You see, there we go. Go around the edge there with my dividers. And that will just give us an idea of where to take the um, where to take the fold to. So you just whip around there. None of this is bustedly important. You know, it's only a guide. It's only a guide really. Like I say, we're gonna, once we've welded it up, we, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna bodywork it then. So I, I, I probably won't even seam weld the whole thing together. I might just, Sort of tack it, and, and yet yeah, once it's got a bit of skimmer filler over it, that'll be fine. That's all we need. That is, uh, yeah, that's all we need. No problems. So, yeah, I'm just going to literally get a pair of mold grips and literally just, just gently go around. The edge, like I say, it doesn't matter. These little marks we're putting it, putting into it. It's, uh, it's no problem. So I will do this, and uh, oh, I've got to put a fold in it. Can I still do that? Well, that's a bit of a bugger. Oh, just, just, I've got to put a fold through there. Fold through there, and I fold through there. So we're similar to that one. I'll be back. It's really thin metal, this. So it, so it bends nice and easy. Again, I'm not 100% sure on, on the angle for this, so we'll, we'll just get it somewhere. And we can always, yeah, we can always mess with that later on. That's not a problem.
So there we go, look, we've just got a, just a really rough little return on it. And all I'm gonna do now is just, with a hammer, whoops, sorry guys, professionalism at its best again. <laughs> but yeah, all I'm gonna do is just go around it and just, just straighten, see them, just straighten it out a little bit. nice and gently. No need to go berserk with it. It's not hurting anyone. It's done no, no harm, so we'll go nice and gently. There we go. That's it. That's pretty much all I'm looking for something reasonably straight that we can then fettle with a bit of sandpaper, a bit of grinding and whatnot. And then we can, is this the right side? Oh dear me, let's work this out. Come on, come on, work it, there you go. So that goes like that. Oh Jesus. Oh. Being useless. There you go, look, that's all we're after. And we'll basically plonk them two together, and weld it up. Right, there we go, look. So we've got our basic basic shape there. Um, yeah, that's all right. Like I say, it's nothing fancy. It's not the best bit of metalworking in the world, but that is plenty, plenty good enough for what I need. Um, I'm not a metal worker, simple as that. I can just about get by with some very simple, uh, simple shapes. And this is, this is, you know, really, really quite a simple shape to do. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, next thing I suppose really, I need to just blob a few bits of weld on it so that it's, um, yeah, so that it's stable. Uh, but yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> Right, there we go. There's another piece done. This was the piece that I just done on the time lapse. It's uh, just another piece of the puzzle. Got a bit of a gap in there, but not worried about that. Uh, we'll spot it through there with a few tacks of weld. And there we go. So that's the front cover done. And then this is the rear. Obviously we've got some, there we go, let's put it up there. You can see we've got some, some edges there where we folded it on the folder. Really what I should have done was done it on the rollers at work, but I'm just using what I can in the garage. Again, this will, um, this will be body worked and you can't actually really see it. So yeah, not worried about that. That'll go on the back. And it's, uh, it's ready to, tack together now so again I will whip to work stick it together 
and uh, hopefully we'll have a, a solid kind of rigid airbox then that we can uh, we can work with and we can stick it back in there. Right then, let's see if see if I can squeeze it in. When I made it in the card, it was very tight, very tight to the to the frame. So hopefully, it will um, will squeeze in. Yeah. That is very very tight. We've got about three or four mil there, but actually, result. Nice. That's actually gone in. Okay. <coughs> Let's grab the tank. I mean, it, God, it already looks so much better in metal. Um, even though it isn't body worked or painted or anything. There we go, still got lots, lots to do on it, but the first step of the uh, metal shaping, or the metal fab, yeah, first step's done. Um, so we'll just continue with the airbox. Here we go, look. So we're back from the, uh, from the workshop, and a few tacks on there, just to stick it all together. And uh, yeah, that's okay. Fits fits pretty good. Um, I probably won't do any more on this um, on this airbox filming as such because it's it's just kind of like body working now. So, um, but yeah, so it, it kind of yeah it fits okay. I'm pleased with that. Just see it through the back there. But yeah, so that. It's pretty much uh, pretty much done now. Apart from yeah, apart from the body working. Yeah, so that's it really for for doing the airbox. We're um, we're all welded up and uh, kind of ready for ready for body working. So, uh, like I say, I'll probably um, I'll probably won't film any more of that. Um, I'll perhaps whack a picture up or or kind of show you when it's all body worked and whatnot. But um, but yeah, so uh, that'll do for that one. Um, next, yeah, we'll perhaps do. Maybe do some bits on the frame, um, or the or the tank. I, I don't know. I've got, I've got loads of bits to do, but uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave it here for this one. And um, yeah, thanks for joining me. Give us a like, comment, subscribe, share, all the usual, and uh, and we'll see you next time.